Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. I know of no reason why gunpowder, treason should ever be forgot. In 1605, a group of Roman Catholic restorationists got together to plan what is known as the gunpowder plot. They aimed to blow up the House of Lords in the Palace of Westminster, while King James I and the entire Protestant and even some of the Catholic aristocracy and nobility were inside during the state opening of Parliament. The plot was led by Robert Catesby, a highly trusted member of the Catholic community. However, a man named Guy Fawkes was in charge of putting the plan into action with a group of conspirators. After failing at their attempt to dig a tunnel under the building, Fawkes and others involved in the plan had rented a cellar beneath the House of Lords. By March 1605, they had hidden 36 barrels of gunpowder in the cellar. That's 1,800 pounds, or 800 kilograms. A few people involved in the plan became concerned about the Catholics who had been in attendance at the opening, and Lord Montagle received an anonymous letter ten days before warning him to stay away. Montagle became suspicious and the letter was shown to King James. A search was ordered for the cellars under Parliament, and in the early hours of November 5th, Guy Fawkes was found and arrested, leaving the cellar they had hidden the gunpowder in. Despite rumours that the gunpowder may have been too old to actually cause any damage, in the following days Fawkes was tortured to give the names of the others involved in the plot, and after a number of days he gave his confession. He was found guilty in January of the following year, and was taken to Old Palace Yard in Westminster to be hanged, drawn and quartered. Following the discovery on November 5th, Londoners were encouraged to celebrate the King's escape by safely lighting bonfires across the city. This began a tradition that continues to this day. On November 5th, both publicly and privately across the United Kingdom, people celebrate Guy Fawkes Night. Guys are burned on top of bonfires, and firework displays are extremely popular. People enjoy lighting sparklers, drinking mulled wine, eating baked potatoes and toffee apples. Another tradition continued to be observed is the annual visit of the Queen to Parliament. According to custom, the Yeomen of the Guards search the cellars of the Palace of Westminster every year. A little more anticlimactic than Viva Vendetta, but the inspiration for a 400-year-old tradition. Guy Fawkes is certainly not forgotten.